Hello everyone, you are welcome. This is soft phrasing. In this lesson, we will be considering the modeling, analysis, and design of this simple uh, bridge using Protar Structure 2021. And so, I will want you to like the lesson and stay tuned throughout the lesson so you can have a good understanding of the procedure actually do this using portal structure 2021 all right so let us get started i will create a new working environment by going to the file menu right there click on new project and i will be Considering DS810, and for the name of the project, I will change it to G Design just like this. Click on OK. All right, here is a new template. We want to proceed. I'll go to the modeling tab right there. I have the orthogonal exit generator. Click there. I'll select the working environment to have the dialog for the axis. In the axis level A or direction one, I will be having the following offset of 100, sorry, 1000, comma, 1000 comma again and I will have here to be five four thousand millimeter all right this is this one thousand the first one thousand there is a clear distance for the abutment while the second one thousand right there is for the uh cantilever and the four thousand is for the stress tool all right so I will also proceed in this provision I'll make it one and comma again 1000 again right there comma and I'll have another 1000 just like this so the stress stress to consist of 1000 plus 4000 plus another 1000 so we are having a stress to of 6000 or 6 meter while this 1000 and this one is the clear distance of the abutment right so over to direction two for the direction two we are even we are going to be having the span to be five meter into three that's why you're seeing it there all right after which click on ok and i'll be having something of this kind all right so we want to start the modeling now at first we will start by placing the wall Okay, and I'll click on the wall right there. I'll have this. Right in the dialog, I will be making some changes on that general tab. I will have uh, the width of the wall to be one meter right there, and then I'll centralize that to be 500 right there. and this provision will also be 500 just like this we are going to be editing this wall later all right so i'll pick this point and then pick this point to insert the wall just like that so do the same thing here and there okay click on update and then i'll close this the next thing i will be placing right there is the column but before i close the column i will first of all generate stories all right so i will go straight away to the building setout right there the top and the story and i will expand that i'll come to insert story all together i'll be having up to three story up to two three right there click on ok yes all right and then for my columns i will navigate to the story too but by then i will go back again to the story tab and then expand that right there and then 
I'll click on edit story. If you edit story, you can see the height of the stories right there. I will change this height of the stories to story one is going to be two meter right there. Story two is going to be one thousand five hundred right there, and then story three is going to be one thousand. Okay, I I will explain this in a minute, and then for the structural system, I will be having a I will see reinforced concrete right there. Okay, and then for the foundation depth, I will be having this as default. Okay, click on. Okay, this can be changed later. All right, click on. Okay, there we go. All right, so we proceed. We want to start placing the columns, and for us to do that, we will navigate to the story tool. We are going to be placing a column from story 2. So, story 2 is activated. I go straight away to modeling tab, click on column right there. In the dialog, and having this, I click on this section manager. In the column concrete section manager dialog, I select circular column. And then click on okay so the columns uh diameter is going to be 400 mm so i will be clicking right there select this four point of intersection of grid lines two three d and c to insert the column right there just like that okay so after having this inserted i will Escape the command and I'm having something of this kind. The next thing I will be inserting is the beam. So I'll click on the beam right there. So in the dialog, I will make some changes. I will maintain 250. Alright. While the depth of the beam is going to be 700. Just like that. Okay. After which, I will click on the update, insert the beam, um, I will be inserting the beam from this point to this point, escape that, have another one, man you are on story 2, alright, and I will have Another one from that point to this point. This is called beam or a gather, right? I'm having that. And also the same thing in this provision. So this provision I'm modeling now is my trace tool, right? So after which I'll be Placing the slab rider still at level 2, alright? Then go back to the modeling tab, select slab. Have that slab selected. I will go straight away to the slab thickness. Thickness of my slab is going to be 200, right there. And the cover is 25. For the loading, coming to these provisions, you can see. Click here, I will be considering lower slab right there. And for the impose load, I will scroll down and check uh, the impose load. I did it, I confound it right there. But for the sake of the lesson, I'll be using this one foundry 20 kilonewton. Alright, so after which I will place this slab right there. In these provisions, just like this. All right, so click on update and close this. So we are done with uh, uh, the trace to modeling. Okay, so I want to navigate to the 3D so we can see what we've done so far. And I'll click right there. Right click, click the 3D. This will take us to the 3D and we will have something of this kind. First, 
right? We want to be extending this columns to story one because this is it is at story two, all right? At first, so I, will, I like all of this column just like this. Right click, click on the property. In the property, I will locate length. This one, select this. If I should shift this one just like this, so you can see the extension after place the provision to click here. See that one as is extended. The same thing, extend the next one just like that. All right, so all the columns have been extended successfully. Close this uh, dialog. You have something of this kind. Now we want to uh, we want to be adding a drop at the top of the columns. All right, at the bearing top of the columns. So it's going to be individually. I'll select this column. Right click, click on the property. Go straight away to drop, and I'll check this. In these provisions, I will have the drop to be five hundred by. 500 and then I will have the height. Click on this center line to centralize the drop, all right, so that uh, the eccentricity will be 250 mm. 250 mm, and then the drop is going to be 700 just like this. And then click on update, and you have a drop here. So if you check very well, you can see a drop here, all right. So I want it to be a little bit extend beyond this uh, beam. Right, but what I will have to do is I will need to reduce the uh I will need to reduce the depth of this beam from 700 to 600, so that will help me to uh, actually counter that. Okay, so I'll click on update and close that. Same thing will be applicable to every other columns right there. All right, click and click on this provision, go to drop, check that, and this provisions. Have it to be 500 and here 500 centralize that and then have that to be 700 just like this update closed click here right click and drop check that 500 500 centralize it and 700 just like that same thing right there okay so if you actually rotate it if I should rotate it you have fixed you just have it like this so what I need to do now I still at, at level two I'll select this beam okay and then I will just scroll down so I can see all the beams. Hold the shift key, select the last beam. All the beam is selected. I'll right click, click on the property in the beam property dialog. You can see the height of the beam, right? I will highlight all, click on these provisions to edit the height, changing it to 600. Just like that. Click on OK. Give it some time to change the 700 to 600, just like this, and click on OK. Now go back to check the drop again. See, there's it's a, the 100 uh, mm beneath the beams, just like that. So, this is what I actually intended. We proceed. Now, we are going to be working on the abutment. So, I will select this right there. The wall we created. Click on the property. Go to drop. Insert the drop right there. B1 is going to be the total length of this wall is uh, 9 meter. All right. It's 9 meter. So, plus the. Uh, of the offset, we have an offset of uh, 500, 500, which is 1000 right there, 10,000. All right, then the width is one meter, and we have an offset of 250 and 250, which is 1500 right there. Right okay, then the eccentricity, uh, the eccentricity for this one is going to be uh, 1000. Okay, then the eccentricity for B2 is going to be half of this. Uh, uh, 1500 which is 750 right there then uh, the depth we are going to be considering is r uh, we are going to consider that to be 800 right there just like that and then you click on update and you have this if you should rotate this you have it like this okay you have something like this the same thing will be applicable to these provisions i'll close this one click on this right click click on the property 
the upper part of Gusto the way to be dropped out to start the drop all right this provision is 10,000 just like that and here is 1,500 just like that this is 1,000 okay and this one is the half of 1,500 which is 750 right there then the drop is 800 okay just like this click on update to insert that okay all right so you you have something of this kind all right so we want to stop here and then we'll proceed in the next lesson we are going to be inclining this part to connect the wall or the abutment and also incline this other part of the trace tool to connect also this abutment or the wall then we proceed from there in the next lesson give the lesson a thumbs up and subscribe and as well stay tuned for more advanced lesson of this kind i'm soft reason bye for now